Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and today we're going to be talking about games that are better with more friends. So we all know that playing games is fun, but playing games with friends is a lot better. Um, I mean, the solo experience is fun, and, and you can there are a lot of games that have a really great solo experience, but just being able to share the joy of being able to get through uh, a certain level or anything in particular, or, or solve a puzzle together, or um, defeat like a monster together, just uh, it, it's always been better for me. And that's, that's why I wanted to make this video that's uh, about games that are better with more friends. Um, so the first one is, uh, uh, it's Fantasy Star Online uh, 1 and 2 Plus released 2002 by Sega. This was on the GameCube. Um, I remember playing like online a lot with my friends and teaming up, you know, and all four of us just running through and destroying everything. And, you know, one person was really good at healing. One person was good at melee. One person was good at ranged and one person was good at spells. I mean, like it, we, we tried our best to create a balanced party, but uh, I also had another friend that um, he didn't have a GameCube and he didn't have internet and stuff. And he'd come over to my house and we would play split screen and it was great too. So like, this is a really good game. Um, and uh, it, ba it basically just joins the theme of all of the rest of the games here where it's the more the merrier. Uh, the next up we have is Affordable Space Adventure on the Wii U. Released by Napnot Games, I believe, uh, 2015. This game is a calamity of errors, and it's it's hilarious all the way through. Uh, one person is the engineer, one person is the pilot, one person controls the sensors, one person controls this, that, and the other thing. And the more people you add to the game, the more specialized people's jobs become, and uh, it, you know, people start shouting, you know, oh, I need more power in this section over here, or I need this over here, and, you know, cutting the engines at the right time, and uh, doing a count, like a verbal out loud countdown, it's hilarious, it's just this huge space survive, flying survival comedy. Um, and once you get through everything, it's, you know, you, you feel great about being able to have that level of teamwork. And like I said, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. Um, now, uh, next up is a very easy one. Uh, Rock Band. The Rock Band series started in 2007 by Harmonix. You guys know about Rock Band. Come together pick instruments, you have a singer, you have someone who's playing drums, and lead guitar, and, and, and uh, backup or bass guitar and stuff. It's it's rock band. Um, you pick songs, you have fun, and the more people playing, the more fun you're having. Uh, next up is uh, a, really, a little bit of an oddball one, um, and it's more of a friendly competition style. Uh, the, the SSX series was uh, released in 2000 by EA Big. Now, uh, like I said, me and my friends, we had competitions. So we would do, uh, you know, who's got the best score, who can do the most tricks. We would race each other. We would do all kinds of stuff. But it was a very, you know, big friendly competition between me and all of my friends back when this game came out. And uh, even like watching someone else play this game when you're waiting for your turn to go up against them and try to beat their score is just a whole lot of fun. This series, sorry, the next series that we're going to be doing is Mario Party. Um, started in 1998, I think on the Nintendo 64. Um, and it's released by Nintendo. This game, uh, no one really liked playing against the computer because everyone felt like the computer cheated. So 
It was more like avoiding going against a computer player. Um, of course, having four people going up against, you know, each other. Uh, people people try to develop house rules like, oh, we don't steal stars from each other. Or if it, there were only three players, you would try to steal only the stars from the computer because it was considered very dirty to try to steal a star from another player and stuff like that. But, um, you know, Mario Party was a great series. It also has the the subtext of how to lose friends in one game. But, um, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a great way to come together and just play a bunch of little silly mini-games. And then uh, once you finished it up, that was it. It was over, and you just started the next game. Um, I remember me and my friends putting lots and lots of hours into all of the Mario Party series. Speaking of a game that me and my friend put me and my friends put lots and lots of hours into is Castle Crashers on the 360, uh, released in 2008 by Behemoth. This game was just a silly looking beat em up, but we kept playing it. It was so addictive the 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 silliness of it and like how campy it was and the and the graphics and how at the end of each stage you fought over who got to kiss the princess and all of this other stuff that just it just came together and just made the perfect storm of the game where everything just meshed together perfectly and again the more people you had playing with you the better the game got um and you know, I, I just can't explain it enough. And there are multiple ways to play this game now. It's on Xbox One. It's on Steam. It's on, uh, it's on Switch. You know, all all kinds of different ways to play it. I highly suggest it. And the final game is um, Armello. Uh, now, a lot of people don't know about Armello. It's been released on multiple systems. Uh, I mainly play it on Steam. It's released in 2015. Um, so, uh, as of this recording, it's having its five-year anniversary. It's released by League of Geeks. Armello is a cutthroat-style board game uh, where the computer takes two turns. There's the King's turn, and then there's the Raven's turn, or the Bane's turn. And uh, it's a lot of fun because playing against a computer, you already know what the computer's going to do. You kind of predict what it, what it's going to do. Playing against a, uh, other players, not only are you trying to survive what the game is doing to you, but you're also trying to keep the other players from pushing you over that last little bit until you die. And it's it's kind of like a oh I got you this time and I'll get you know you know I got you this time, but I know you, you're going to turn around and get me next time kind of thing. And it's just a lot of fun. You, you have way too much time to, like, mess with other players. But, you know, and there's multiple paths to victory, which is another thing that's really great about the game. But, again, it's one of those games where it's the more the merrier. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.